are going to be making homemade chocolate granola. It's going to need bowl, oats, cocoa powder, this, and a few odds and ends. Let's get started. I'm going to do that thing grandmas do because um, I don't have any measuring cups. This is a coffee mug. That's how many oats I'm making. I'm going to even it out with this and put enough oil to coat the oats so they toast. Coffee mug of oats. In the bowl. Then, we're going to take this and put it in the bowl. Since we have about a cup of oats, we're just going to put this until it's chocolatey enough. We're also going to put sugar, vanilla, and salt. Small spoon. Cocoa powder. Last one, probably not necessary. Stir. You stir that in, or you can add salt. We're going to add salt. I grinded some salt. It's about a fourth of a teaspoon. In it goes. Now we're going to add sugar. I'm using brown sugar, because I want to use up the bag, because I just bought a new bag and a container of it. That's more than enough. It's about, eh, about a tablespoon, probably less. We're going to mix that up. Mix that all together. Keep mixing it till it looks better than this. I might add some more cocoa powder, actually. It's not the dark that I want. It's not as dark as I would. We might add some more. Right now, it kind of looks like cocoa pebbles. I want darker. Added another spoon. It's kind of clumpy. We're going to stir that up. Make sure we get all the clumps out of the cocoa powder. After that's all stirred together, we're going to add coconut oil. How much? I have no idea. We're just going to be putting until we know all of this is going to be coated. I might microwave this first and then make it into a liquid. You don't need to completely, completely cover everything and have it soaking in oil because that might just burn everything. You need a light coating on the oil. about less than a tablespoon of oil to that big old thing of oats. We're gonna microwave it till it's liquid. In the microwave. One, five, start. Let it cook for uh, 15 seconds. Take it out the microwave, stir it. It's not completely liquid, but I can still use it. So we're gonna add a few drops of vanilla and uh, I'm going to add the sugar to this because I forgot to do that just now. I stirred in another half tablespoon of white sugar. Coconut oil. Yeet. Four drops. Stir it. Put it in there. Oil is in the bowl. Stir it till all the stuff in the bowl is coated with the oil. The clumpier it gets, the better. The oats don't have to be saturated, they just have to be lightly coated. So they toast. We don't want them to we want them to toast. We don't want them to fry. I mix it till it got clumpy. Now I'm gonna go in with my hands and make sure that it gets more clumpy. Get all the dry bits in, mixed in together. Put your hands in it. Ring it out. The cocoa powder is going to get darker. It's gross, but it's going to taste delicious. If you haven't already, preheat your oven to 350. Just get all of these things coated with the oil. It's going to be sticky. That's good. If it's clumpy. That's good. We're going to lay it flat in the pan. Anyway. I don't have an oven. I have a new wave. Coat this in grease or cooking spray. Spray. Put 
in there. Flat it as thin as you can on here. Make one layer. New wave. Quick tip. 350. Quick time. 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is over. You stir it so the other side you can get coated. Since it's already brown because of the chocolate, it's going to be hard to tell when it's toasted, so you're going to have to do it by texture. When it's the texture of granola, time to get it out. It's cooking. Nine minutes left. Then I'm going to stir it. Even layer at the bottom. This is up. Time to take off the top. Stir it and then put it back for five minutes. And then it'll be done. Back on. Five minutes. Start. After five minutes, it'll be done toasting. If you want it crunchier, put it for a few minutes extra, but keep an eye on it. I am going to wait till this completely cools to add in the other stuff for the granola. It's done. I'm going to take off the lid, let it cool off and dry out. This is the consistency I'm looking for, but after it dries out, it's going to be a little bit more crunchy. Some nice banana ice cream, all kinds of good stuff. Yay! Time to add in our odds and ends. We have dried berries and golden raisins. This is cranberries, raisins, stuff like that. I've got some slivered almonds, some sliced almonds, and I've got some flax, chia, and hemp seeds I'm gonna be putting in. You can put this into your taste. I'm doing about a tablespoon of each. Incorporating in there, because this is completely cool. It's not a tablespoon of each. It's about a tablespoon of this and a quarter cup of each of these. My bad. And stir it up. It's looking very nice. I'm going to put this on top of my dairy-free yogurt in a little baggie and top it off when I'm at work. It's done! It's so good! You can try it. It's already cooked. Go have it. Thank you for watching! I'll see you next time! Time to add in our odds and ends. We have dried berries and golden raisins. This is cranberries, raisins, stuff like that. I've got some slivered almonds, sliced almonds, and I've got some black chia and hip seeds I'm going to be putting in. You can put this into your taste. I'm doing about a tablespoon of each. Incorporating in there, because this is completely cool. It's not a tablespoon of each. It's about a tablespoon of this and a quarter cup of each of these. My bad. And stir it up. It's looking very nice. I'm gonna put this on top of my dairy-free yogurt in a little baggie and top it off when I'm at work. And it's done! It looks so good! You can try it. It's already cooked. Go have it. Thank you for watching! I'll see you next time!